Today is World Mental Health Day. So I just wanted to acknowledge that with a video um, on anxiety actually, because anxiety is one of the top mental health conditions that people are diagnosed with and are suffering from today. And it's really just to try and simplify, well, a few things of, you know, what the response is, how we get anxiety, but also techniques that are uh, helpful if you do suffer with anxiety. So anxiety basically is a symptom of, it could be something from a trauma that's been experienced or um, perceptions of the environment around us, but it is a symptom of something else. So I always talk about, you know, leading back to the root cause because once we identify what the root cause is that triggers the anxiety response or triggers the anxiety, you've got a better chance of dealing with it more proactively. So anxiety is normally when the uh, fight or flight response mechanism kicks in. So it's when you lose the present moment and are in a state of panic, fight or flight or freeze, that's another one. And what that does is it keeps you in a stress response situation. So if you imagine physiologically, mentally, you can only be in a, in a place of either growth or protection. Anxiety is often when you're in that shutdown and protection mode protection of a threat or a perceived threat and there might not be anything physical that give that is giving you a threat but it could be mentally you could be in a state of threat mentally and sadly that's the case a lot of the times is that we're in this stress response and we're in fight or flight we're in protection mode because of external things whether it could be like I say a trauma or it could be our environment you know it could be the environment that you work in it could be the environment that you're living in. It could be many different things as what's causing that protection mode. But what happens when you're in protection is there's no room for growth because you can't do both. You can't grow and you can't protect yourself at the same time. If you think of growth, life, you know, um, life beyond us, it's all about growth. We're all about growth. And if we don't grow, we're in shutdown, we're declining. So think about your environment, think about your world. You know, would you say you're in protection a lot of the time or are you in growth? So how can you get into growth? Many things. I would say going out and being in touch with nature because the moment you're in touch with nature, you're almost back to your conditioning as I am at the moment walking my dogs. And actually talking of being in nature in that environment of perceived stress, um, if you do have a dog, you'll be familiar with this, but dogs, what happens to them if they see or come into contact with another dog or they've been in a situation where they feel threatened, one of the th first thing they do when that threat goes is physically shake. So that's why a dog shakes is because they're shaking off the stress to put them back into a normal response of growth. And we can do the same thing, although we would look a bit nuts, I imagine. But you know, if, you're, if one of your symptoms of, is, of anxiety is shaking, trembling, I would say exacerbate that. You physically do that more. And the reason why that's quite a powerful technique is because you're taking control. Because often when you're trembling, you're shaking, it's something that is happening beyond your control, or we can perceive it as being beyond our control. Whereas if you take control of it and you physically shake, tremble, exacerbate that movement, it's just another really powerful technique that you can do to get your power back. I mentioned being in nature and um, being one of the most powerful things that you can do to keep you in a state of parasympathetic nervous system. That's the calm, the calm response, being in growth. So walking in nature is really powerful or even just stepping outside with bare feet and grounding or earthing as it's called just to get the negative charge from the earth and to pull that up into the systems of the body. It's really powerful, really powerful things that you can do. Also, they can use some interruptions. So interruptions like, well, I like um, to play music loud, but powerful songs like one of my favorites is Hustle by Pink. So it's quite a bullshy song, it's powerful but it, I almost treat it as if the anxiety is like, you know, don't hustle me. So interruptions like that are really powerful. And lastly, what I would say about anxiety is to try and focus on the things that you can control because sometimes you might not be able to control the triggers, but you can certainly control your thoughts and your thinkings around that. 
and your responses. So focus on the things you can control. Meditation is a good way of doing that. You can put yourself in that meditative state during an attack. Again, things like focusing on your breathing, sinking down into your body and just repeating affirmations that are helpful, like I'm safe, I am loved, I'm okay, just over and over again until it passes. Have a great day.